Well, it's time to finally start the project, my tracked vehicle. This is the uh, very first video in the series. This is the picture I started with, the idea. I'm going with a quadcycle type of uh, configuration for sitting on it. And the first thing I did was try to come up with some kind of measurements for it. So I had no idea what to do, so I decided to measure the back of my truck so I at least fit in the back of it. Um, so I measured the length and the width. All the joints that I started with for the frame, I mitered so that I didn't have to worry about uh, capping the ends of the tubes. And this just shows how I put it into position. I made a work table that's about a foot and a half off the floor. It gives me a nice uh, area to, to work on. Now I did go ahead and, and put the engine in. I, I did that using some blocks of wood underneath it to, to get a position and then I welded the brackets in. I also bought the fuel tank and got a idea of how that's going to get positioned on the uh, front of it. I've, I've spent a lot of time drawing pictures. Uh, I have a lot of scrap uh, notebooks with lots of, of ideas. So I've, I've gone over it a few times in my head, but of course from paper to actual building it has, has changed a few times. So as I build it right now, I'm not going to give out any kind of measurements or specific uh, information, just because I know that as I build it and as things happen, as I'm putting it together, since I'm building this totally out of my head, uh, things are going to change and I don't want to have to go back and try to find and correct numbers and all that. So what I'll do is at the end of this series, I'll somehow make available the measurements and the schematics that show the exact exactly how I position and, and put the things on, on the uh, frame. So right now I'm just going to show you generally how I did it. Uh, I did spend a lot of time, you know, drawing diagrams and going over in my head and now it's just actually putting the pieces together. Okay, right now I'm welding the the mount for the back part to uh, to bolt the fuel tank on and I do already have the engine mounts in place and this part here once I had the engine in place I noticed the engine dropped down below the tubing just a little bit and I plan on using a wire mesh floor for this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a box right where the bottom of the engine pan is and that's going to allow me also to have access to the drain plug for the oil and give me a hole that the engine can just set down in. It just sits down about an inch uh, below this. So uh, I'm going to weld up a little access box here. Now as well weld um, the frame up on this, I have been measuring and checking the position of the pieces with the other pieces to make sure everything's square and level um, to make sure that I'm not pulling anything out of out of line as I'm welding. So that has been a uh, ongoing process. Not too familiar with working with metal, so this is sort of a new learning experience for me, but uh, so far I have been enjoying it. I'm using a 150cc uh, scooter motor for this installation and the uh, main reason is because it's an automatic and I don't have to worry about a clutch or a shifter uh, to install on this. Also the the plans I have for steering this because obviously you don't have a, a steering in a traditional sense you have to use brakes to stop one side or the other. So my plan is to use where you would normally have your clutch and your front brake on like a motorcycle handlebars, I'm going to have a left and right brake that'll basically steer this thing. So um, that's what I'm working on for steering. Uh, the parts I'm getting are, are mostly motorcycle parts. I'm hoping that this 150 motor will be strong enough. I'm I'm not sure, but you know we'll give it a try and and see. Um, and see how it works out. I originally mocked this whole thing up out of some 
two by two wood. And uh, that's how I got the idea for the seat, the height of the seat, uh, the width of the frame, and, 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 and getting and all that into proportion. So I built this whole thing out of wood first. Uh, and after I cut the wood and refitted it and took it apart and put it back together and did that, you know, a few times, um, this is the design I've come up with so far for the frame. And uh, I haven't spent a lot of time showing you all of the, the welding and all that, but just to give you an idea of, of the process, it took a, took a little bit of time just to do this. So, um, so in the next video, there'll be a part two to the frame here. Uh, I'm going to show you the installation of the floor and the handlebar mount, and we'll try to get the, uh, the frame part of this uh, build wrapped up. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.